Hey, I'm Daniel, engineering manager here at Masterbuilt, and today we're going to talk through the Gravity Series Charcoal Hopper. It all starts at the top of the hopper. By simply opening the top lid, you can add charcoal at any time during your cooking process. This prevents you from going into the grill, messing with your food, or losing any heat. You will also notice on this hopper there's two safety switches, one at the top and one at the bottom. These sw safety switches are designed uh, to turn off the fan anytime these doors are open to prevent stoking the fire. The bottom door is designed to give you easy access to the charcoal grate and also the ash bucket. The charcoal grate has a specific slot designed for your fire starter. The grate design itself is actually compatible with briquette and lump charcoal. It's designed to allow your ash to fall safely into your ash bucket. Also, you'll notice that it will allow some small embers to fall down into the ash bucket, which are used to smolder your wood chunks for producing wood smoke. Once your fire is lit and your charcoal is kindled, shut the doors and let the digital fan take over. The fire is contained to approximately an 8 inch area inside the hopper. This area is reinforced with soft ceramic fire bricks specifically designed to handle the high temperatures of the lower portion of the hopper. The fire brick alone is designed to handle the high temperature of the burn area. The only time this should be replaced is if you get approximately a 5 inch in diameter hole that's approximately a half inch deep. The digital fan transfers your heat from your burn area through the manifold and into the cooking chamber of the grill. The ash bucket serves two main functions. One is to generate smoke. You do that by simply placing wood chunks into the ash bucket. As the embers fall down, it will smolder your wood chunk. The second function is for easy cleanup. Simply remove your bucket and dump your ashes. When you're finished cooking, that's when the charcoal hopper really shines. You simply put in your shutdown slides and snuff out the fire to save your charcoal for the next cook. When you're ready for your next cook, you simply shake or tap the charcoal grate to drop the remaining ash from the previous cook. Then repeat the startup process.